hallelujah to jesus we give god a praise let god be glorified forever in the mighty name of jesus christ amen hallelujah glory to jesus this is god's son channel with evangelist sarah you are welcome the lord bless you the lord bless every member of this household it is well with you jesus love you and i love you please finally like this video share subscribe tell somebody about this ministry god bless you as you do that in the mighty name of jesus christ amen hallelujah glory to jesus glory our father glory our father child of god let them crave let them crave they are craving for your attention craving for your words they want you to see something they can't hold it anymore when i mean they can't hold it there are so many people who are ex exploding exploding like bombs you know exploding like bombs because you have choose to go silence the, 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 your silence is speaking more than your words you need to understand that silence ah, silence is a language that the enemy cannot be cannot use against you silence is the language sometimes when you keep them silent i'm not saying that they are the ones silencing you there is a difference between somebody silencing you or you are being silent on your own you understand no one can silence you because god has given you words to use at the right time you understand this is why many of them are wondering why you are silent because they want to hear your language when they understand your language they will be able to attack you that is why you see some people even when we pray in tongues they are telling you interpret it interpret it there is a time for everything and most of these people are pharisees what happened to them why don't they interpret it because it is a language that they cannot understand the moment you switch, they cannot understand. They cannot get that particular word that you were supposed to use at that moment. So what happened? They start exploding in anger. Most of the things that you see, it is because the enemy cannot get something out of you. Because your silence has become a language that they never wanted to hear. You know, that silence is something that the devil don't want to hear. They don't want to hear us that, oh, we are not silent. We don't want to talk to. We don't want to talk because, uh, in this journey, as you grow, you you start you realize it in life that, you know, it is only God that is omnipresent. So every other power, every other person, every other word, they are not omnipresent. They work with information. So when you don't give them that information, you silence. You go silent and. That silence become a language that they cannot understand. That is something that is making them explode in anger. I thank God for their grace, for His mercy, for His love, for their wisdom and His understanding. You know, the Bible says, if any one of us lack wisdom, that we should ask God. So when you lack wisdom, you ask the Lord. You will see that things will be, will be changing. You that you so easily react to things, you no longer react that way. You not react in a different way. You not react in prayers. You not react in the wisdom of God. You not react in the knowledge of God. You will see that the enemy who want to get works out of you because they cannot get works out of you. What happened? They will be exploding in anger. Your silence is also a language. I want you to know, and that is the language that they can never understand. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, evangelist, by the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye-bye.